For today's lesson, you're going to need a water bottle, a shirt, three books, a coin, and space to move in safely. Press the pause button to gather your materials, then come back when you're ready for the warm up. All right, it's time to warm up with some bend, stretch, and shake. Listen for the sounds. When you hear one chime, you're going to do bending. You can bend to the side. You can bend your leg. You can bend your fingers. Then, or you can bend your arms. When you hear two sounds, you're going to stretch. You can stretch up. You could stretch down. You could stretch forward. And when you hear shaking, you're gonna shake. When you hear the shaking noise, shake your body. And when I say freeze, you're gonna freeze. And I might throw in some other movements as well. Here we go, listen up. Bend, 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 stretch, stretch. Shake, shake it out. Freeze. And jog, jog around your space safely. Listen for the sounds. Bend, bend, bend. Stretch, stretch. Stretch, shake, 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 freeze, jog. Bend, bend, bend. Bend, stretch, 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 shake, 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 freeze. And jog, jog safely around your space. Bend, 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 stretch, stretch, stretch. Stretch, shake, freeze. Nice work, get some water and then come back and be ready for the riddle. For today's riddle, listen to the sound and see if you can guess what it is. The answer will come at the end of class.
For today's Daily Dose, we are going to do exercises and movements that are inspired by Spider-Man. Let's have some fun.
week's food rule is to help cook. When your family or your caregivers are cooking breakfast or making lunch or cooking dinner, ask if you can do anything to help. Maybe you can learn how to cook a little bit. All right, it's time for Lucky Coin Toss Challenge. Take your shirt and lay it flat on the floor. Make sure you spread it out. Then you're gonna take your three books and you're gonna place them about one to two feet apart. Make sure you have space to stand in between each of your books. All right, now if you need to press the pause button to set up your game, go ahead and do that now and then come back when you're ready to see the rules. Now I go first, watch me. I'm gonna start by throwing my coin underhand and try to get it to land on my shirt. Yes, that would be a point. Now I have to hopscotch. So I straddle, one foot straddle, one foot straddle, one foot balance, pick up my coin, turn around, and I'm gonna hopscotch back. So I straddle the first book, then I land on one foot, straddle, one foot straddle, and then I get to throw again. Oh, rats, I missed that one, but I still need to hopscotch to retrieve my coin. Now, that was a bit of a stretch. Sometimes your coin might go really far, and if that's the case, just hopscotch to the end, and then you can run and get it, and then hopscotch back. All right, and then I throw again. Ah, missed again, so I hopscotch, straddle, pick up my coin, and turn around and come back. Straddle one step, straddle one step, straddle. All right, now it's time for us to all play together. We're gonna play for two minutes and you're gonna see how many points you can get and you're gonna see if you can beat me. Good luck.
All right, for today's Mindful Minute, I have a question for you. Stand on one foot if you've ever been really angry. I know I have, so I'm gonna stand on one foot. I've been really angry before. Now, stand on two feet if you've been really sad. I know I've been really sad, so I'm standing on two feet. Now, these emotions, anger and sadness, are emotions that we need to take care of. They're like big stormy clouds coming over us. And if we don't take care of these emotions, it could be like being caught in a tree up at the branches and being waved all around, especially when we're angry. We don't know what to do, we just fall crazy because we're so angry. But there is a way to take care of our emotions. It's called belly breathing. Have you ever tried belly breathing? Try it with me. We're going to lay down on our backs. So lay down on your back and put your hands on your belly. And I want to see if we can get our hands to rise and fall. As we breathe in, our hands rise. And as we breathe out, our hands fall. So our belly is rising and falling. Let's try a few together. Here we go. Rise, fall, rise, fall. When we do belly breathing, we're like that tree, but we're like the trunk, the bottom of the tree where we're really strong and stable. And when we're really angry and we do the belly breathing, we're taking care of our anger and it helps us to calm down. So let's do some more belly breathing, but first let's pretend like we're really angry. The storm is coming and we're really angry. We're up in the tree branches and we don't know what to do with these waves all around. Ah, we're angry, everyone. Show me the angry face. Ah! And now we remember to take care of our anger by doing belly breathing to be strong like the tree. We can even do this standing. Let's try some belly breathing standing. Rise, fall. Rise, fall. And now we've calmed ourselves down. We're calm like the bottom of the tree, the trunk of the tree. And this can work for lots of different emotions. So. My friends, when you feel anger or sadness or other big emotions, practice belly breathing. And you can practice belly breathing even when you're not angry or sad. And by practicing, you'll know how to do it when you do have those big emotions. All right, I hope that helps. I'll see you later. This week's brain tattoo is to give somebody the gift of your smile. When you smile at someone, it's contagious. I bet that they smile back. And you never know, you may have changed that person's day by one simple smile. Maybe they were in a bad mood and you gave them a smile and now you got them out of their bad mood. So give the gift of smiles whenever you can. For this week's journal prompt, I want to invite you to draw and write pictures about the best gift you have ever gotten from someone. All right, it's time for the answer to the riddle. Listen one more time to this sound. answer is kids running in puddles. Did you get it right? If so, awesome job. I'll see you next week for episode number 26.